Oh, and one other quick thought is um, in 2 Nephi 28, 22, it says the devil whispers in our ears. And so as we recognize those voices, uh, the negativity, um, the, the uh, doubt, and the uh, fear that creeps in, and the hurt, um, like I had those things creep in when I, when I felt like my leaders were mistreating uh, me um, and misunderstanding me. Hopefully that didn't creep into my other videos because um, that part's bad on my part. Um, even if people are thinking negative things or speaking the uh, words of a negative influence towards you and, and uh, slipping into uh, following the false spirits that are speaking to them, we can reply in sin as well as if we let ourselves get hurt and uh, feel negative towards them. So, so a couple things in that is don't, when someone says something you know is untrue, recognize that the devil's whispering in their ears and working through them. And, and that's happened to me too. The, the, the false spirits have whispered in my ears and I've said things that are not from me, not from God. Uh, but I'm, I'm being a vehicle for a bad influence, which I think is the reason Jesus is always casting out evil spirits because they're all around us. Um, in fact, Joseph Smith taught the, the spirits know our thoughts and are often pain therewith. So the good spirits, right? They know our thoughts and are often pain therewith. And then Second Nephi 28, 22, the, the devil whispers in our ears. So a couple things. So with that experience that I had with posting on Facebook, I recognized when it, false spirits were speaking in the ears of other people to get them to misunderstand what I was saying even if I aided in that misunderstanding by not saying it really clearly uh, with pure light and truth from God, but uh, they can act as vehicles. And so as the, as the opposition increases, we can keep going forward, trusting in God, not in man. I hope that makes sense. Um, anyways, love you. Have a, have a good day.